I'm Carissa Watford. And I'm Marcus Thomas. And this is our Smart Board presentation. Okay. First of all, we turn the Smart Board on by pressing this button right here. To calibrate, we press the first two buttons right here at the same time. And then we press the center of each target as it comes up. Based on our list, we're going to work with text. Next, we're going to work with objects. Yep. All right. I'm going to draw a circle. And after that, we're going to press this button right here. We're going to recognize the shape of the circle. All right. And now we're going to use uh, object animation to hide and reveal feedback. Alright, we're going to make this just a little bit larger. Okay, then we're going to go to... We're going to go to properties. Fill effects. Fill effects and we're going to do a solid fill in black. We're going to do object animation. Over, and as you click the hour, we see that you can see the word hi. All right. Now we're going to delete these. Next, we are going to um, use a infinite clone. But you make as many clones of the circle as you would like. Okay. Now we're going to work with some digital ink. We are going to open up Internet Explorer using SmartBoard. And we're going to go to SmartLink, capture this image. There we are. Now we have a captured image of the website we were on, and we can make notes here. Yeah, you can both like him. Yeah. Um, and what you can do here is you can actually show your kids, um, you know, if they need to know where a certain place to go is, they can go to the faculty and staff, or they can go to the alumni, um, or if they're athletes, they can obviously go to the athletics and find out any information they need to know. Okay, now we are going to um, get rid of this image here and we're going to save our notes that we have um, put on here. We're going to save those to a separate file and we would uh, put in a file name using the keyboard, but since we don't really want to save this file, Um, now, I'm going 
we use multimedia objects. And those, I'm going to press the pictures icon here. Go to interactive and multimedia. Um, say you're doing a lesson plan on music, you could use this guitar here and drag it over and um, use that for your lesson plan. But uh, I believe we've covered all of our bases. And, uh, and if you have any more questions, we'll be glad to answer.